Hey guys, it's Stella. This is the last time I'm gonna film this. I filmed this six times now, but I'm gonna run into traffic if I have to film it one more time after this. So I swear this is the last one. I just don't wanna cry, and I cried in every single take I took before this. So if I cry in this one, it is what it is. And I got tears on my neck, I'm all shiny. Um, but and I wanna tell you a little bit about the truth about being in plus size fashion and trying to be a plus size fashion model when you're not their typical plus size fashion model and you're not, and when you're two plus, so, let me tell you about my day. So this morning I woke up and I saw a casting call for a major retailer who were looking for younger plus size models, which is me, 20 and 25, 22, 25. And um, I applied, all it said was younger plus size model, 20 25. I submit and two minutes later I refreshed the page and it specifies size 14 to 18. Okay. So I end up weaseling my way to find out where this casting call is and I go. I'm in Santa Monica right now. That's why I'm in the car, not with my professional setup. Um, I'm in Santa Monica, and this is where the audition was or the casting call was. And I go and I walk in, and everyone's like, "Oh, yeah, Stella, we need you." I'm like, okay, you're here. I had to go get my picture taken because I wasn't in their system because they weren't expecting me. I just showed up for all my plus size men and women who are bigger than a size 18, because that's what I do. And so I go, I get my picture taken, I get paired up with the partner I'm supposed, to, I'm not supposed to be with, but I'm with him now, and I get seen. Keep in mind, this isn't even first call. This is call backs. Okay. <clears throat> so I just like walk in there and I'm like, you know what? I'm here too. Like I'm just as valid as all the little 14, 18s you have in here, which is just as valid. They're just as valid, um, but I'm valid too. And you, you should probably recognize that half of you, the people buying your clothes are over a size 18. You might want to consider that. So I had a... I think I'm like sitting in front of some person sharp. <laughs> I um I did my thing. And you know what was really funny? It's like I pull in and it was really convenient because the girl that was right before me was a size 12. I'm like, oh but I thought you guys wanted a size 14, 18 so badly. <sighs> so anyway, I left after I was done. There were about okay, well, there were about 12 people in the room. And that was really intimidating for me because I knew I wasn't what they were looking for. But my job, like for what I do for you guys, for what I, excuse me, what I do for myself is to go in there and like fight for us anyway. And it takes a lot. Like a lot of what I do is fighting for us, even though we're not what they want. But I want to show them that maybe we are what they want and they just need to give us the opportunity to do that. Um, so, you know, I make them laugh. I did my thing. I was confident. I was Stella. I was very much myself. Uh, but as I was leaving, I just wanted to cry and I was walking to my car with just tears welling up in my eye because I was so intimidated um, Not because I already knew I wasn't gonna get it. I already know I'm not gonna get it. I was just really really intimidated because um, Like in my head I thought they were like, okay, well, why is this girl here knowing we're, she's not what we want and then I was like, you know what? I'm here because no one else is here asking you guys in your face to ha represent girls bigger or guys bigger than size 18. No one is doing that. And I see no one doing that. I've not come across anyone doing that. Like physically in a casting director's face saying we are valid too. And this whole like last seven months of my self-confidence journey and like really discovering me and who I was, who I am, is really show me like forget it. Like what do I have to lose? Because if anything, at the end of the day, someone's going to go home from whatever audition I go on, from whatever casting call I go on, someone's going to go home and be like, dang, you know, maybe she's right. Like, yeah, like we have a whole demographic of our store and they're all sizes, 18, uh, what did they sell up to now, 32? Hmm, yeah, maybe we should represent them. Hmm, yeah, that, that sounds like a good idea. <sighs> There's only one store I know of that's really, really, really doing this and that's toward they're really really like pushing the envelope with inclusive inclusivity for everyone and I really commend them for that and that's why I do really like Torrid and Fashion Nova used to do it a lot and now they're like back down in their models they hire but guys we're just so valid and I do this for you after I do this for me I do it for you and it's like every time I walk into a casting call and audition I'm never really nervous because I'm like I know on my shoulders it feels like I literally have all of you sitting on my shoulders like physically 12,000 people just sitting on my shoulders like cheering me on like still thank you 
you know you're doing this i get so many thank yous like thank you for giving me so much confidence um keep doing you oh good, good job on your audition like i'll put up i'm going to audition to get like 16 of you like oh my gosh guys go kill it and i do that for you because i want to be there i'm fighting for you it's not like i want to fight for you i'm fighting for you i will i will do i would walk into an audition i'm not welcome in 30 times a day if i could if it meant that there's a chance that they could see that someone bigger is just as valid and i may get intimidated and i may want to cry and maybe i'll cry a little bit like i did today but i'll get over it and i'll come to you and i'll talk to you guys and say and let you know what's going on and it's not all glitz and glam i wish it was i wish like all these roles were just handed to me but i have to fight I have to fight for me, I have to fight for you. I have to fight and no one's gonna, mm, gosh, it makes me wanna cry. So many people get so many things handed to them and nothing's gonna be handed to me. It makes it hard, it really does, but I've asked for this. I ask to be this voice, I ask to be where I am right now and I'm so blessed I am. I'm having the time of my life fighting. <laughs> having the time of my life fighting. Um, and I wouldn't ask it for any other way. Actually, I would, yeah. I'm asking the fashion companies to just open your eyes and see that we're just as valid. So y'all will be on the whole journey. I just know one company's just gonna get it and they're gonna have a face that's just plus plus size. And I have full faith in that. I really do. So I just wanna let you guys know on a little bit of what it's like and that it's not all glitz and glam. And this is hard. It's a hard job, but I ask for it. Um, but someone will recognize our worth soon, hopefully. Someone will recognize it. But until then, I'll keep fighting. And I'll keep going to casting calls knowing they don't want me. And I'll keep going to auditions knowing I'm too big for the roles. Because that's me. That's Stella. And that's just what I do. I go in there, act like I'm the size 14 girl. And I stun everyone. That's just my personality. I'm just as valid. I'm just as confident. I'm just as beautiful. I'm just as qualified. For the damn job why why are you discriminating against me for for my size nah nah shoddy all right i'm gonna go to the beach and just clear my head and remember why i'm doing this and then i'm gonna go to buzzfeed and then i'm gonna go home hopefully before traffic oh i don't think i can go to buzzfeed i spent too much time talking it closed at five oops and it's almost five i messed that up um but i just want to thank you honestly for your support all of you all of you Literally, when I go into every audition, they ask me, what do you do? I'm like, oh, I give a lot of people online confidence, and uh, they help me build mine. It's like this whole cool community. And they're like, oh. And then they look at all my social media, and they're like, oh, oh. Well, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> There's a whole spot out here just rooting for me, and I'm rooting for them. I'm fighting for them and while they're rooting for me, and it's an ecosystem that works, and we're going out there and killing it. And something's going to come along my way. I know it, guys. And I just want to thank you for going on this journey, especially if you've been here since January of 2016. You've been through a lot with me, and I want to thank you. So, I will talk to you guys very, very soon, and just be confident and be happy who you are. You are just as valid. You're just as beautiful. You are just as strong as anyone who's, a quote, smaller than you. And uh, just really just be you, because there's only one you. And I'm doing my part out here. If I'm doing my part out here and going to these auditions and casting calls, I'm asking you to do your part and be confident and be happy in your skin, because you're just as worth it. So I will talk to you guys very, very soon. And I have an update on the whole censorship video thing. And when I get home, I'm gonna update my blog and let you guys know about it. So um, YouTube did respond to me a little bit about um, my video they censored. And they're like, oh, it is a problem, blah, blah, blah. But I'll update everyone on my blog. When I get home, I'll update that and you'll know what's going on, but it, it's not over. Uh, they want me to send them some more items, so I'm gonna do that. So I want to just thank you guys for everything you've given me and everything I can give you. I'm proud we have this little like team working in this little family. It's really, we're making changes in Hollywood slowly but surely. You'll start seeing me on your TVs more and in your catalogs more. And I hope to see y'all on the catalogs and TVs soon too because we deserve it. And if that's your dream, do it. And if that is your dream, let me know. I've had, I've made friends from you guys that are doing the same thing I'm doing, just trying and we're trying together and we're just killing it. So I will talk to you guys very, very soon. As always, love, Stella. I'll see you guys later. Toodles.